I just want to finish up with two passages of, of Scripture, which uh, I've alluded to, but probably never just brought them out by going to the Scripture. But meekness means that I lay down my rights to God, not to people. This is Philippi, and there's a big uproar there uh, in the town and uh, because of Paul and Silas are preaching. And verse 22 of Acts 16, the crowd joined in attacking them. The magistrates tore the garments off them and gave orders to beat them with rods. And when they had inflicted many blows upon them, they threw them into prison, ordering the jailer to keep them safely. And then, of course, there was the earthquake and all that came as they, they committed themselves into God, not to these uh, jailers and, and magistrates. They had a higher view. If you're going to submit to any authority, you have to have an understanding God is in charge here. And apparently God was directing them to go through that beating because they did not have to do that. We'll see in a minute. They, they laid down their rights to it. Verse 35, when it was day, the magistrate sent the police saying, let those men go. And the jailer reported these words to Paul saying, the magistrates have sent to let you go. Therefore, come out now and go in peace. But Paul said to them, they have beaten us publicly, uncondemned, Men who are Roman citizens and have thrown us into prison, and do they now throw us out secretly? No. Let them come themselves and take us out. The police reported these words to the magistrates, and they were afraid when they heard that they were Roman citizens, so they came and apologized to them. They took them out and asked them to leave the city. See, Paul had a right as a Roman citizen. He did not have to go through that beating and all the bad things that happened. Why did he do it? Because he wanted to be a doorway instead of a doormat. What happened when he took the beating? There was an earthquake. Prisoners were set free. The jailer was saved. And there was a church founded there, which is the premier church. If you read the letters of Paul in the New Testament to uh, different places, that's the only church where he didn't have any complaints, any corrections. Something was started there that was beautiful because Paul laid down his rights. He submitted to the will of God, and then he submitted to the will of the un unfair people that were putting him in jail, beating him, and all that. But the next morning, in equal meekness, he said, they want to let me out? No, you tell them come here. They want us to go. They can come in person, and they can apologize. <laughs> and they did that. That was, Paul had not suddenly lost his meekness. What he was doing was saying, I want that. To be, I want the gospel to not have a black eye. I want people to know that these, this is a worthy situation. Or these people are not just uh, uh, ones that you kick aside. Uh, they are valuable people and, and uh, they have something to say. Uh, and so we, the other thing I want to read is where Paul did not lay down his rights. This, this concept that meekness... And submission is all about God first. And then, as it affects us in our lives, people that we should or should not kowtow to in the, in the seeming scheme of things. But uh, Acts 22, years later, Paul is in Jerusalem. And there's an uproar. The Jews, Pharisees are upset about him being there because he's intimidating their religious structures and all. But as they were shouting and throwing off their cloaks and flinging dust into the air, <laughs> the tribune ordered him to be brought into the barracks, saying that he should be examined by flogging. Remember, he's a Roman citizen. And they, uh, they managed just the same thing that would happen basically in Philippi was going to happen again if nothing changed. They examined him by flogging. That's an interesting way to examine somebody by flogging, <laughs> beating and... and uh, even the, I'm not sure if that was the, the cat of nine tails type deal, but to find out why they were shouting against him like this. But when they had stretched him out for the whips, Paul said to the centurion who was standing by, is it lawful for you to flog a man who is a Roman citizen and uncondemned? He didn't do that in Philippi, but he's doing it in Jerusalem. When the centurion heard this, he went to the tribune and said to him, what are you about to do? This man is a Roman citizen. So the tribune came and said to him, tell me, are you a Roman citizen? And he said, yes. The tribune answered, uh, 
I bought this citizenship for a large sum, Paul said, but I am a citizen by birth. So those who were about to examine him withdrew from him immediately, and the tribune also was afraid. For he realized that Paul was a Roman citizen, that he had bound him. Why this time and not the other time did Paul claim his rights? Because God told him to do it, that's why. <laughs> it would serve no purpose for him to go through that there. It served a purpose. Elsewhere, it would not serve as a doorway for the Jews to come to, to Christ in that setting as it had in Philippi where they were open and hungry. Uh, and so uh, that, is, that is the difference. Meekness, submission means we lay down our rights uh, in the areas where God is directing us to do it. And if it's not contrary to our conscience and scripture, uh, there needs to be a, a respectful attitude towards people. And we'll talk next week about making an appeal and things like that. But the basic thing I want to em emphasize today is submission is for our character development. It's to show if we trust in God, if our hope is all in the material things around about us, or whether, whether we're so wrapped up in this world and our own importance, our own I want my way, and anybody that crosses it is uh, going to experience my wrath and displeasure. 